Hi everyone and welcome back to a brand new speed build. Today I have three realistic homes on one lot and settle in, get something to drink, get something to snack on. Maybe you're listening to this while you're trying to fall asleep or maybe I just have it on in the background, but this is a long one and I tried to cut out as much as possible to make this like a bearable length, but yeah, it still ended up being like an hour and 13 minutes. So yeah, just just strap in, like have a have a cup of tea. I don't know, get some snacks. Um, but yeah, I am so freaking excited to share this build because I love it. I love it so much. I built this about like a month and a half ago, I want to say, and I I love it. Like when I was building it, I just couldn't stop building it. <laughs> And like, I, it was all I was thinking about and it was so fun and yeah, I just, I really hope you guys like it as well. Um, I would just want to say that I am far from the first person doing this. When we got the, um, like the foreign expansion pack and when we're, we're like first able to have several lots, um, or several houses on one lot, uh, with the residential lots type, um, I, or like the rent residential rental lot type there we go um yeah i was not the first person to think of this like so many people have done this and so many amazing builds that have like three lots on one uh three lots <laughs> why do i keep saying that uh like three houses on one lot or like two houses on one lot or whatever um i've seen a lot of people do this so this is like not just my idea like i've seen a lot of people do this um and you were actually supposed to get this out like a couple of weeks ago um like I, I had planned to post this then but i saw that like two amazing creators um posted like again like three houses on one lot that week or like the week before that and i was like I'm gonna wait a little bit with mine because you as an audience might not want them all in one go so yeah I waited a little bit with mine but yeah this is my take on it and I have had like this lot planned since the far right expansion pack was planned out or planned out announced um because I knew that like this lot in uh, this is built in I almost said Vandenberg um it's built in Evergreen Harbor and this lot I've always kind of struggled with because it's one of the lots that are um like longer lengthwise than it is depth wise so like from right to left is longer than it is front to back and i i, I always kind of struggle with those lots because i never know like how to build a house and have like a garden when it comes to that plus this neighborhood in evergreen harbor like they don't have like huge houses and honestly the house that is here when you first like load up the game um is an ea build and first off maybe not the prettiest um this was long before uh the sims team took in like creators like community people like creators from the community to build houses for the expansion packs and like worlds and stuff like that this was this was built far before that um and the house that was here originally not the prettiest but also just didn't really fit in here so i knew that i wanted to build first off like again i struggle with the lot because of the size like the way it's I don't know, orientated. And then also it just didn't fit. So I knew that I wanted to have, I don't know, several homes on this lot. And so yeah, th I ended up doing these and I tried to make the houses kind of look like they fit into this neighborhood. So with like the first house you will see me do, um, I'm going to, by the way, call it like the first house, the second house and the third house. The first house is the one on the far left and then the second house and the one in the middle. And then the third house is the one on the far right, if that makes sense. Um, the real, of course, beast timestamps also down below uh, or like in the timeline line so if you're wondering like which house i'm in you can see it that way um but uh with the first house i saw that there was um a house kind of i've said house so many times but there was a house um kind of in a little bit in the background that had i don't know like a similar style and had like it's the, all of these houses are pretty boxy like i don't know why but they're pretty boxy um but it had like two stories and then the roof and kind of like an uh, what's it called? Not an alcove. What is it called? I forgot the word for it, but like a bump out on the front. <laughs> I forgot the word for it, um, but like kind of like a third floor. And so I was like, okay, I want one of the houses to have that. Um, and then the second house is also kind of inspired by some of the houses because it doesn't really have... I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, describe it but like the roof, <laughs> if that makes sense. <laughs> the roof doesn't have like... Um, one piece that is like front to back um 
like well this i don't know how to explain it basically the roof just uh, there you can see that the roof on that house is different from the roof on the third house which is kind of how i normally would roof things but on the third or in the second house i decided to just like use two roof pieces and not have like a middle one if that makes any sense um and then on the third house i kind of winged it a little bit like on all of these i kind of winged it but like that one i was just like what is kind of a simple building structure <laughs> and i came up with that and yeah i really love all of these houses um i tried to make them as like realistic as possible because one thing that i really wanted with these three houses was that i didn't want them to be like perfect i wanted them to have some imperfections everywhere and there's going to be clutter everywhere and stuff like that which i tried to do normally as well but like i really went in when it came to these houses which is also a part of like why this video is so long number one it's three houses on one lot but also um it just like i tried to have as much clutter as possible so yeah, I, I just had so much fun and a big inspiration for this was, <laughs> was weird. Like this is, um, I talked a few videos ago about this, but I watched Shameless recently, um, for the first time. Great show. Um, and I was kind of inspired by like their neighborhood and their house a little bit. Um, their house is kind of like a little bit run down and like not maybe in the best condition and stuff like that. None of these houses have that, but they just, you know, realistic, not like a huge family like house. It's just like smaller houses that you have in like a city or like not a city per se, but like a suburb of a city. And like, they're not perfect. They're not huge. Um, they just, I don't know, like kind of like townhouses, if that makes sense. I don't know. Um, yeah, I just had so much fun with them. And again, they they don't end up being that big. Um, and the backyards are tiny. <laughs> but I kind of think it adds to the charm of it and I really I don't know I just I like all of the houses I don't think I have a favorite one um I just I like all of them they're all really cool um but anyways I should probably tell you about like the houses and who they're for and stuff like that so um obviously this is how I imagined it you if you want to download these houses um the uh, tree files will be linked down below and it will be up on my gallery um I think I am going to upload this as a um, just a residential lot and then you can yourself um, like change it to a residential rental and like put what house is which because I had some troubles when I was trying to take screenshots for this because um, the way I built this lot is I built it with this street in the front right because that makes sense like that is how like that is just that makes sense that you would have the lot facing that way and the house that is here originally by the sims team is faced that way and so it just makes more sense however when you upload this to the gallery that's the back of the lot i don't understand it it's so weird so um you're gonna have to like turn it around if you wanted the same like orientation that i did it in um you're gonna have to turn it around so i was having some troubles with that when i had it as a residential rental so i am going to change it to just like a residential lot when it's up on the gallery but then you can just change it and like again like put in which which house is which and stuff like that um if you want to but yeah anyway so the <laughs> first house is the again the one on the far uh, left and that one ends up having the most bedrooms it is for two parents one kid one toddler and an infant and i really wanted that house to just be very family oriented and just be like kind of a like it's a pretty big family living there but it's not the huge like the biggest house it's almost the hugest house <laughs> i don't know what that means but like it's not the biggest house it's just i don't know it's kind of just realistic it's again like a little bit on the smaller side it's not like small small don't get me wrong but like it's not again a huge family home um and yeah the kid ends up having their bedroom in the attic um in that kind of little alcove area or what's call it and yeah that might like some people might have some issues with that but i don't know why but i feel like that's relatively realistic as well because i feel like some people if they're like if they're living in a house that doesn't have the amount of bedrooms that it, like people living there if that makes sense they might put a kid like up in the attic and maybe the kid wanted to like have its room there um I don't know but like i know for a fact like my boyfriend when he first moved into the house he lives in now um they were three like kids there um or like yeah 
three kids um and there were only like three bedrooms so he took the attic as his bedroom and then when his sister moved out um he took her bedroom so i think it's pretty realistic to just like have that because you're not always gonna have a house that has the right amount of bedrooms to you know like people in your family if that makes sense um so yeah i i think it's okay there also ends up being a computer area up there um i did edit that out i did have to edit out a few different things and i will talk about that in a bit um but yeah so that house ends up being for that family and i think he also put it in for a dog in there um and then the middle house is actually for some roommates um of course if you want to remake the bedrooms to make it into a family home you can but i thought it would be fun to make it kind of like a roommate's house so there ends up being three bedrooms um and two bathrooms in that house um and they're all by the way like all the houses have laundry uh the first house has a dedicated little like very little <laughs> laundry room and the second house has the laundry in the um downstairs bathroom and then the third house has the laundry in the kitchen which I, that's so weird to me, like, we don't have that at all here where I live, but I know that is the case in some countries and some places, so I was like, I can do that, like, it will, it will fit in there, it'll make it a little bit more realistic again, um, so yeah, that one ends up being for three roommates, and then the third and final house ends up being for two parents, one teen, and a kid, um, again, of course, if you want to have some other type of dynamic in any of these house, houses, <laughs> houses um you can of course like change a little bit of the decorations or anything like that but i just had so much fun with all of these because i tried to not make it so that they all had the same like family if that makes sense because you're gonna have a few different ages a few different like groups of people living in a neighborhood so yeah i don't know i just had so much fun with all of these and i tried to make it so that like you can see by the decorations like which house is which if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense, but I tried. Um, and I tried to make the third house a little bit more rundown. Um, you won't see me do this because I did it kind of off cam, but I did put, um, I did do this in all the houses, but specifically for the third house, I put these kind of like wall stains theme <laughs> these that we got with the foreign expansion pack. We also have some with like, um, werewolves and vampires i think um but i think i used the ones from the foreign expansion pack in there but yeah i just thought it was pretty realistic to like have some stains that made that house look a little bit more not run down but like they they don't always have time to clean everything you know who does honestly um but yeah so i am going to try keyword try to talk about each house as i'm kind of doing it because I feel like it's going to be so much easier for you guys to understand which house I'm talking about. Um, so again, the first house I do is the one for two parents and three kids. Or, well, I mean, it's one kid and then like a toddler and an infant, but they're the kids of the parents, if that makes sense. So with the first house is the, actually, I think the only house you will see me do the entryway. Um, I think I edited them out from all the other houses. Again, just for time's sake, I kept in like most of the footage for all the houses like I kept in like all of the like living room kitchens dining rooms like all of that um but I will only show you one bathroom in this entire video and that is from the first house as well again just time wise bathrooms are not that exciting so I thought it would be okay and then you won't see me do like a lot of hallways and stuff like that and again the kind of like office space in the first house but otherwise i kept in like all the bedrooms and the backyards and like all of that because again like i thought it's something you guys might want to see um but again for the first house i just wanted to be very like family oriented and very very realistic and the first room i did except for the entryway of course was the um living room and i was going through like the couches and at first i was going to use a base game couch that we have that is this kind of like cream color i use it all the time i love that one so much but then i realized that we have this couch that we got from the I want to say the basement treasures kit, I think. Don't quote me on that, but I think it is from that one. And it just worked so well. It looks so realistic. And then I paired it with the couch that we got, or like the love seat that we got from the um, book nook kit, which is like my favorite love seat ever. I love the love seat so much. And when I was doing the other houses, I wanted to use it in every single other house, but I tried not to 
repeat like that many decorations throughout the houses like yeah like plants and paintings and stuff like that but like I didn't want to repeat like the counters and the kitchens and like the couches and stuff like that because I don't know maybe not everyone has the same thing in their house you know um so I tried to not repeat too much but I wanted to use the love seat in like all of the old houses uh but then I also did like my favorite thing in that living room was I made this kind of like built-in bookcase tv unit thing so I used the modular bookcases that we got from the book nook kit as well and I kind of just like made it I don't know kind of like a circle kind of and then in the middle I ended up putting like a tv and stuff like that and I cluttered that space up so so much and it was so much fun to just make it realistic and just have like I don't know like kids paintings everywhere and like just things that like your kids would make because again this is a pretty young family living here so you know I just wanted to have some like kids stuff everywhere I thought it just would make it better um I don't know if that makes sense but I wanted to and then the kitchen I end up using I think at least like some parenthood counters and stuff like that it ends up having an island but not an island with any bar stools because I felt like that wouldn't fit in um I just made it kind of like I don't know an island where you can cook um and yeah I don't know I just I kind of like it I think it ends up being really cute and then the living room or the living room no the um <laughs> <laughs> the um oh my god my voice is dying now the dining room ends up having like a circular table because I don't know why but recently I've been having such a hard time putting like square tables like a regular table in dining rooms and so I just put a circular ones because I feel like depending on the size but like that room ends up being not square but like a little bit <laughs> it's a weird shape um and so I mean, how can I like a more squarish space where I am going to have a dining table I just prefer to use a like a circular table because I feel like it just makes more sense I don't know I don't know I just I just that's just how I feel um and I also really really like the floor plan for all of the houses the first house has I don't know I just it makes sense like all of the floor plans make sense for all the houses because the like bottom like the first floor, it was called the bottom floor, the first floor, um, has like, again, the living room, kitchen, and dining room, and a bathroom, maybe, and that's like, that's all they have, and I feel like that makes so much sense, because it's not always that you have like an office space, or like a bedroom on the first floor, like, this is just like, the first floor is the like, quote-unquote, like, living space, and then like, everything else is like, on the second floor, and it just makes sense in my mind, <laughs> I feel like it doesn't make sense when I'm talking about it, but I just really liked it um and then also something that I tried to do in I think all the houses was I put like some dishes in the sink because again you're not gonna always have like all the dishes like washed and ready you're gonna have some dishes in the sink like the first house I put some cups in I think I might have done it in the second house as well and then in the third house it was really fun because I put those cups but then it was also like wait we have some plates so I um rotated them with the tool mod and made it kind of look like they're just like some plates in the sink that needs to get washed and really like it I think again it's just like really really realistic um and yeah I just it was I don't know I just I really liked it um I also probably should say that this entire build or like all the houses have been play tested I did run into a few different things um like just like I don't know not being able to use a counter or whatever but I promise when you download this from the gallery or uh, the tray files they will like it will be fixed you these will be completely usable like they're all fine to work with um because I do play test all my builds and yeah I did run into like just a couple of problems with things um but it was like minor so if anything looks a little bit different in the screenshots that would be why um but yeah I don't know I just had a, a lot of fun with these builds again um also another thing that I feel like adds to the realism is of course the light switches like ever since we got light switches about a year ago I I use them all the time I remember when we got them <laughs> me and my friend um who like again I've talked about before I don't have a lot of friends that like I don't know play sims um but I have like I have like a couple and me and one of them were in a VC with um I think like one or two other friends and when the light switches came out like we were freaking 
out because I was sharing my screen when I was building because she wanted to see, like the, my friend that does play the Sims, she wanted to see what I was doing and I was like, look at the light switches. She was like, I know, right? And like we were just flipping out because of the light switches, which the other people in the VC thought it was so, so funny. And like a couple of days ago, one of my friends referenced that like he was like oh it's like the light switches again and I was like yes because you don't understand how much we want the light switches in this game it was just like a whole thing I can't believe we had this game for like nine years without light switches like that's insane um I don't know if we had light switches in any of the other sims games i do not remember um let me know if you know but i don't think we did i don't know but like we finally have light switches now we all we have them in base game and from the um bathroom clutter kit i think it's called um but yeah and then i also added like in addition to that i also added these like plug sockets which you would only see me do in the kitchen for the first house um but i do it in all the other houses and in all of the rooms um however you won't see me do it because it's kind of just tedious um basically um i have i have known about this for a very long time and i have done it in a couple of builds but i kind of forget about it all the time but the first person I think I saw do this was Jessica Pye um which if you don't know who she is go check her out like right now I don't care if you stop watching my video go watch her videos <laughs> she's amazing and she does this in like every single house and so I've known about it I think I actually knew about it even before she did it in any of the houses because I somehow discovered that we have this light switch but um she was the first one I kind of saw do it like in every single build so I thought about it when I was doing this because again I wanted to be very realistic um but we have this light that came with the I think it's the parenthood pack and it's kind of this like night light that we can have again like in kids rooms and stuff like that it looks like a circle kind of like a planet and then with some clouds and it comes in like a blue pink and a yellow swatch if you know what I'm talking about um and Basically, if you turn it around 180 degrees, like on the back of it, there's a plug switch or plug switch, a plug socket. Why? Very unknown. Um, I like genuinely got no clue why we have that. <laughs> I feel like the Sims team was just like bored one day because we don't have that on anything else. I'm pretty sure it's specifically just on that little lamp. Um, so yeah, basically I just turned it around with the tool mod and pulled it a little bit out of the wall. Um, so yeah, well, they have plug sockets in this build. And I thought I'd mention that because I feel like some people might be like, where did you get those plug sockets from? But yeah, they're actually from the game. Um, they're from that little light, which I do not understand why we have. <laughs> like I genuinely don't know what, why that is a thing on the back of the light like I get if it was a thing that they did on like all the wall lights or whatever but they don't it's specifically that one and I don't know why um but yeah it's just kind of fun I don't know why um but yeah I th again I just thought I'd mention it um and again also something else that <laughs> I wanted to mention about this build I feel like there's a lot of things that I want to mention <laughs> So I'm so sorry if I keep saying that, but um, I you might notice that this video is a little bit more sped up than my normal videos. I hope that is okay. Um, I like that I'm mentioning this now, like over 20 minutes into the video, but I just wanted to mention it because I feel like you guys might be able to tell that it's a little bit more sped up. I try to not make it too sped up because I know some people can get like dizzy from it and like kind of motion sick from it. So I try to keep it at like kind of like okay like place if that makes sense um sorry if you heard that that was someone downstairs like pulling out a chair <laughs> so sorry if you heard that um but yeah I just thought I mentioned that this is sped up a little bit more than usual I think it usually I speed up about like five times speed um I think I've talked about some I've talked to some other creators about this because they spit up like a little bit more or a little bit less but we kind of still have the same speed in our videos and I think it just depends on the software you're using which it sounds weird because it really shouldn't <laughs> like it should be the same all around right but for some reason it's not I don't think but anyways or maybe it depends on like how slow you build maybe I just build faster I don't know um but yeah I usually speed up or like slower I guess it depends but anyways um I usually speed up about like five times speed but I think this one I did like 5.5 speed or like 5.25 speed something like that um again just to cut down on the time a little bit I really tried <laughs> because it was so hard because when I 
like put this into my editing software right and like I sped it up it was over three hours long like with this sped up footage so I was like there is no way I'm gonna be able to make this like under an hour and I was fine with that but I was like I do not want this video to be over an hour and 10 minutes and then it ended up being an hour and 30 13 minutes but a lot of that is screenshots like at the end a lot of it is screenshots so again with the timestamps you will be able to tell when the kind of like speed build portion is over when I have the screenshots but I think this is an okay length like it might still be a little bit too long but I didn't want to split it up into two different uh, videos because I don't like doing that and I personally love watching longer videos so hopefully some of you guys are like me <laughs> and like longer videos let me know but um anyways getting back to the house i'm building so again i'm still on the first house and depending how well the voice are syncing up sometimes it syncs up very well sometimes it doesn't um what's currently on my screen is the parents bedroom if it's not you will get there soon or might we might already have been there i don't know um because <laughs> like i edit my voiceover so sometimes it doesn't sync up uh, properly but the parents bedroom for the first house ends up being very very long and I did struggle with the floor plan because I was like where do I like where how how do I do this and I was like you know what this is future mouse problem when she's furnishing this room and then when I did I was like what do I do <laughs> but I think it ended up working in the end um so I obviously put like a like bed and stuff like that and then I also put like a um, wardrobe that we got from the city living expansion pack it's like my favorite wardrobe in this entire game it's um one that is it's just like not small but like it fits into spaces so well and it has a kind of like open door so you can see some of the clothes in there and it has some great swatches so i just use it all the time um but then i was like what do i do with the rest of the room like what do i do so i end up putting a another kind of like it's technically a wardrobe or like a drawer thingy for clothes but it looks like some like i don't know some luggages some like suitcases stacked um but we got it from the werewolves game pack i'm pretty sure um and i kind of ended up using it as kind of like a tv stand and i don't know just a little bit like clutter on that and i thought that was also pretty realistic and it's not a like big fancy flat screen tv in there like they have one of those like older boxy tvs in there which Again, I feel like it's more realistic because you're not always going to have the, like, fanciest TV in, like, the bedroom. You're going to have maybe, again, a little bit more, like, boxier um, TV and stuff like that. So, I think in the end, I did end up making that room work, but I did struggle a little bit. And I also put an ottoman that we got from the kids' room expansion- not expansion pack, dear lord, stuff pack. Um, and- I ended up putting I just I love that specific ottoman because it comes in this like cream swatch and it looks so cozy and I use it all the time and I put this tray um that has like a book and a little like coffee um cup on it which again I just for the realism um but then the bedroom I do after that is the taller bedroom very simple toddler's bedroom it's kind of small but I think it ended up working in the end um kind of went for a little bit of a, like lighter yellow color scheme in there i really liked it and then the <laughs> the okay the infants room i want to just i want to just mention it because it ends up being very blue but i think it's okay i am really struggling recently with um uh, infants rooms because i keep trying to make like nature themed infants rooms because those are my favorite like i think they look so cute we have a lot of things in the game for like I just love doing that but I was like you know what I'm gonna have to try to do something else and so I did one that is like just very 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 blue and it ends up looking fine but when I was doing it I was like is this too much blue <laughs> is this too much but I think it works in the end um again it's just very very blue and, it, and it's also kind of a small room so it ends up having just like a crib um the changing table I think maybe like a bookcase and then like a rocking chair so yeah um I mean you don't really need to have a lot of other stuff in a friend's room like what are you gonna have in there i don't know um and i also end up using this like wallpaper that we got from the parenthood game pack um and by the way like the reason i'm saying like where things are from is because i keep getting questions sometimes where like people are like oh where is that from or whatever so i thought i'd just mention it as the video's going on um of course you can always ask me in the comments i don't i don't mind that at all um but I used the wallpaper that we got from the Parenthood 
game pack and I never use this swatch because I just feel like it's too blue and too bright sometimes but I do really like it um it's it has like it's kind of like divided and then in the middle it has kind of like trim and different swatches have different things on those trims so like this one has some clouds there's one with like some sports equipment which is actually the one I think I use in the t uh the kids bedroom in this house as well I think so um and there also has like some some hearts and I think one this is some fishes or like waves and stuff like that um but yeah I almost never use it in this swatch so it was kind of fun I tried to go a little bit outside my comfort zone with the infant's room and I think it ends up working pretty well um and then again the kids bedroom ends up being in the attic and I tried to make that into a very just generic kids room like <laughs> they are into sports but also maybe gaming and also maybe music and like they're into whatever they're just a kid um and I really wanted to put some stairs up to the like third floor but I just I couldn't with the floor plan so there ends up being a ladder up here which once again might not always be convenient to like have your bedroom like be on the third floor and also have to go up a ladder for it but once again I feel like it's pretty realistic again that's kind of like how my boyfriend had it when he was younger and I know that like other people have had it that well that way as well so I think it's okay but I don't want anyone yelling in the comments being like Mel this does not work this is a fire hazard or whatever um I think I think it will be okay I think the kid will survive um but yeah and again there ends up being an office space up there um I think I have a couple of screenshots of it I think but I'm not 100% sure uh the third floor in general is always really hard to take screenshots of because I don't know if you've ever tried but if you've ever been in like the free cram, cram? <laughs> the free cam mode that we have um where you like press tab I it works fine on the first and second floor but as soon as you go like onto a floor higher than that the camera will just not have the same limitations and it will just be like flying all over the place and stuff so I did try to take some screenshots but it can be really difficult the same thing is actually the case for like apartments it can be really difficult to take pictures in apartments because of that way like I don't, I don't know why it does it that way but I don't know I'm I'm not like a coder or a game developer so it, it might just have to do with that I don't know it's just really irritating um and it's kind of also a reason why most of my houses never had third floors first off because I think it looks a little bit weird sometimes but then also it can be a nightmare <laughs> it can be a nightmare to take screenshots of um but yeah we're almost done with the first house I think I just end up doing the backyard again depending on how well the voice everything's up maybe we've already done it maybe we're like three minutes before it I don't know you never know um but in the backyard I end up putting like kind of just basic backyard things again all the backyards being <laughs> like end up being very very small um I think like the first house again has the biggest one don't quote me on that but I'm pretty sure they do and again it ends up being very small I just put some like planters and stuff like that in there and then I also put a swing set and I put um I I I, I decided to <laughs> use a swatch of the swing set that I never ever use I used the one that we got from the um seasons exposure back and when I use that swing which I do almost all the time I end up using it in kind of like a black or a white swatch but they have some other like really colorful swatches but I never use them and one of them is this swatch that I end up using for this house which is kind of like a nature kind of theme like I'm pretty sure it has some like rainbows and some grass and clouds on it and stuff like that um like again never used it before um like this specific swatch but I think it ends up again pretty realistic because maybe the kids just wanted it to be like that or I don't know um I also end up putting like a little like barbecue area and you can just sit out there and eat but again it ends up being really really small um I think again it is the biggest one which says something because it's still pretty small but I think I think it works in the end um but we will soon move on to the th uh, not the third house, the second house. Um, the second house is the one that ends up being for three roommates. And 
in the interior I tried to at least like a little bit reflect that like there's not any kids stuff anywhere like there's not like any toys or anything like that which I tried to have in like regular builds like I will put I don't know toys everywhere and maybe like we have these um debug paintings or like wall decorations that has like a kid's like palm print from the where maybe like a baby and I I always use them there because they're so cute um and I always use them in like builds but I didn't use it in the uh, second build because again they don't have any kids there it's just like these three roommates and um I was thinking that they're all like like, like young adults they're just trying to figure out their life maybe some of them are in university or whatever um the first um person i end up uh doing the room for i don't know apparently i can't speak anymore um but the first measure i do is for um just a sim that likes music and kind of gaming um and i was thinking that maybe they're a little bit like nerdy and I don't know I have no idea what they do but I, I had really fun with that bedroom because it's being pretty cluttered and again it's really small and kind of cramped but I think it ends up looking pretty good and then the second bedroom is for someone that really likes like pastels and is kind of more quote-unquote like girly and feminine um and yeah I just I really liked it I think it ends up being really really cute I end up using a lot from the pastel pop kit in there which I don't do a lot like I kind of forget about that kit sometimes um I did a build a couple of weeks back um where it was like a large family home and the teens bedroom in that room or in that room in that build <laughs> ends up having a kind of like colorful pastel pop kit vibe bedroom ish and so I kind of use the same vibe for the second bedroom in here but it's like a lot more muted it has like whites and like pastel pinks and blues and stuff like that so it doesn't have any like i don't know real pops of color but it's just kind of muted pastel -y, and i really like it it's being really cute and then the third bedroom i end up thinking um or i ended up thinking that they are like a painter and they really like art and and it's up having a little bit more of like a darker vibe but i really really like it and yeah i don't know maybe these three roommates are friends and they decide to buy a house or one of them um maybe like their family owns the house and so they have um like they needed some roommates to like help pay the rent but like their family owns the house or maybe it's like some again just some university students who found this house i don't know but I, I don't know, I think I, again, I just, I never build things for roommates. Um, I think I've only done it, like, once on the channel before, and it was, like, a Mediterranean house that I built, and still, like, one of my favorite builds I've ever done, but I almost never just build things for roommates because I kind of forget about them. Uh, let me know if you want more, like, roommates' houses or apartments or whatever, because, again, I feel like it's kind of realistic. Like, a lot of people have roommates especially in this economy so yeah i thought it would just be really cute and the backyard for the second house i try to again reflect that there are like some younger people living here and not any kids so um i ended up putting like a fire pit thingy but also i ended up putting the tennis table which i never use but i thought it would be kind of fun and also this like kind of like a keg but in the sims <laughs> so it kind of looks like like juice thingy um sorry if you heard that that was my phone uh buzzing can it stop buzzing <laughs> oh but it's kind of this like keg thingy i don't know how to explain it but it's from the university um expansion pack and i just again thought it would be kind of fun to kind of just reflect that these are some younger people living here like they have parties sometimes they just like hang out with their friends out there and stuff like that so yeah, I thought it would be kind of fun. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the third house, or the third house, the second house in a nutshell. Um, I will talk about the third house when we're kind of more doing it because I feel like it would make a little bit more sense. Um, so now I can ramble a little bit, <laughs> maybe. Um, I, or actually I can talk more about the house because the, like the second house, floor plan is a little bit weird. Uh, the kitchen ends up being really small, but I really like it. I ended up using the counters that we got from the, um, what's it called? The country kitchen kit, which I honestly forget about these counters sometimes, but I think it ends up looking really cute. Um, and it has some like open shelving units and stuff like that. And then the living room, I struggled a little bit to <laughs> figure out what love seat to use because I used the couch that we got from the, um, like the three seated couch that we got from the 
book nook kit i think is the one i ended up using i'm pretty sure um and like i said before i really wanted to use the love seat that i got from the book nook kit as well but i knew i had used it in the first house and i didn't want to change that so i was trying to figure out what other like what other love seat i can use and i ended up using one that we got from the my first pet stuff pack i never ever use that love seat ever but i think it ended up working i think i think i made it work um it took me a hot minute for a while i was gonna go with the uh love seat that we got from the i think the nifty knitting stuff pack i think um but yeah i again i ended up going with the, my first pet pet one um i don't know why it's so hard for me to say that today but my first pet stuff pack one um and it has these pillows which kind of like make a dog and i just again thought it was a little bit more youthful and kind of signals that it's not a family living here like there's just some not teens but like young adults living here and i don't know i thought it was kind of fun um i was trying to figure out i don't know if there's anything else i wanted to mention about the second house again if you have any questions about this build or anything like that just let me know and i will answer them down below um but yeah this is a good like check on point like how are you guys i hope you're doing well i am still sick <laughs> um i'm still struggling with a little bit with my health and stuff like that i got another doctor's appointment next week and i have been editing like crazy and like pre-recording things because i um, I'm not going to be home at the end of this month and beginning of April. I'm going to be gone for two weeks. So I am trying to like pre-record a little bit and like pre-edit and stuff like that. So you guys will have videos while I'm gone. Um, but yeah, I've just been kind of just editing like a lot and watching Criminal Minds a lot. Um, I've just been like editing and then having Criminal Minds on my second monitor. Like that's what I've been doing um, <laughs> like for the past like... I don't know, a week or two, um, but it's been really fun. I've also like been deep cleaning my kitchen. We don't question why, I just have been, and it's, I don't know, it takes me back because I used to work as kind of like a maid slash cleaner at a hotel. Um, I don't anymore, but I used to, and it kind of just brought me back to that. I was like, I forgot that I used to genuinely work with cleaning things. So happy I don't do that anymore. I love my work that I have now, but yeah it was it's kind of bringing me back to that and it's kind of rewarding too to like see things get clean like ugh. and i keep getting like cleaning videos of my tiktok and it's so satisfying like ah, uh, i love it so much <laughs> like it surprises me how disgusting things can be like there's this one tiktoker which some of you might know but she moved into this like apartment and the landlord basically just like lied to her and there's just th this apartment is so filthy like there's mold everywhere it is so filthy but she's like trying to make the best of it and like trying to clean it up and uh, it's 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 so satisfying to watch i do think it's kind of like aren't there any laws about that she lives in the uk so like she can't really sue them the way you would do in the us and i think where i live like we have some laws against that as well but it seems like so it seems like kind of illegal but it's not actually illegal i don't know it seems just so weird um in general i just think it's kind of fascinating how like because like there's a mole in there like it's genuinely like a, a hazard to you so i don't know how that is legal but somehow it is so yeah um i have also been playing a lot of val because that is what i do <laughs> and a lot of overwatch uh not a lot but a little bit of overwatch i on overwatch if you've ever played it i am moira main normally um but i was playing with um a couple of friends i think or something like that and i was like you know what i'm gonna try out some other people because i do play other people as well i just prefer to play moira like i play baptiste sometimes and um sojourn if i'm doing um like damage things what are they called i don't know um but <laughs> i do not know the overwatch terminology all all the time but um but yeah if i'm playing that i use sojourn and stuff like that but um i was like you know what i'm gonna try something else and i tried out alari and i might be a alari main now because alari slaps she is so useful like her healing beam so useful and i found this like really really pretty like amethyst skin which is like the most mal skin ever and it works so well it's so pretty um yes i am one of those people that play games just because they're pretty <laughs> Like, the whole reason I, like, Valorant was my first ever, like, shooting game. Now I play, like, I play CS and I play Overwatch and I play, like, a few different things. Or, like, now I'm more well-versed in it. But 
uh, when I started playing Valorant, like, that was the first shooting game because it is prettier than, like, CSGO. Um, obviously, now we have CS2, but, like, it's prettier than that. Like, it's so pretty. And so, the same with Overwatch. It's kind of pretty. And, yeah, um, don't come at me. It's, you know what? I'm relatively okay at the games. So, it's okay. Um, but I play them because they're pretty as well. Because it just makes things better. Honestly, it just also kind of attracts me more. Um, because I like things being pretty. Um, which I feel like it's pretty universal. Uh, let me know if you've ever, like, played a game just because it's pretty. Because I have definitely done that. Like, I feel like, you know the, like, the saying, like, never judge a book by its, uh, cover or something like that? I feel like the same, like, obviously we do that, like, just as humans all the time with, like, other people. Like, we judge people all the time just because of how they look and stuff like that. But I feel like the same goes for games. Like, you will see a game and just from the aesthetic gives off, you will know if it will be for you or not. Like, if it's kind of just, like, again, like, kind of like a war combat type of vibe, I am not going to be playing that because that is not my vibe. The only reason I started playing CS was because my friends wanted me to. Like, not not because I'm good at it, <laughs> like, or because I wanted to, per se, um, but because, like, my friends wanted me to, but I didn't want to because it's not really pretty. And, and I know that sounds so stupid, like, hearing myself say that, it's so stupid, but it makes sense for me. I don't know, it just makes sense for me. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I feel like the same could be said for, like, other games. It's probably the reason I pick up, like, certain games, and, like, um, I, like, about a year ago, I really was into playing Forager, and I played that for so long, and the reason I started playing that was because I got uh, Xbox Game Pass, um, Xbox Game Pass, there we go, and I was going through, like, all the games I could play on my PC, and the ones that, like, attracted me and that, like, made me look at them further was, like, cute games or, like, pretty games, and, like, Forager is kind of one of them, and, yeah, by the way, love Forager, 10 out of 10 game, so pretty, um, <laughs> pretty, it's also fun, it's kind of, like, a mix between Terraria and Minecraft a little bit, and it's so much fun, I love that game so much, um, I... It's so weird, though, because, like, I connected with a specific time in my life, um, and I played it with, uh, two friends, um, and it, like, now, <laughs> someone can mention Forager, and, like, we three, we will look at each other, kind of, um, well, virtually, or if we have a camera on, we will just, like, look at each other, um, but I can, like, feel it, it's kind of like that thing where, like, someone mentioned it, you just, like, look at each other, and you're like, we know like, we know the time that that happened, and sometimes we also just, like, refer to it as, like, the Forager days, because it was, like, a very specific point in my life, but I do love that game, um, but yeah, basically, games are pretty, and I like pretty games, thank you for coming to my TED talk, <laughs> uh, that's, I don't know why I saw that, um, I, I, okay, you guys know that I love you, but, like, I got some, like, comments recently, not recently, maybe, but, like, some relatively recently and also like just from random people I meet that say that like oh I love you because you're so funny and I'm like I'm not funny what do you mean but then I realized that maybe it's just me being a dumbass and saying things like thank you for coming to my TED talk when I talk about that or just me genuinely just being a dumbass like I think people think I'm funny because of how clumsy I am because Let's be honest, watching people fall over can be kind of entertaining sometimes. Don't get me wrong, I do not like watching it if someone, like, genuinely get hurt. But, like, have you ever, like, been out with friends or, like, your family and someone just, like, trips in a really funny way? Yeah, I do that all the time. But just, like, sitting down. <laughs> like, when I say I'm the clumsiest person alive, I mean it. Like, it's a problem. Uh, I, it, it's genuinely a problem. <laughs> and it's so funny. But... Yeah, I maybe that's why people think I'm funny, but I don't know why people think I'm funny because I don't try to be funny. I just I'm me, and somehow people think that's funny. I don't know, no clue why, but hey, if it gets people here, hi, <laughs> you, you are welcome for my um not so funny self. But yeah, I can tell by my voice right now that like this is where I normally like kind of end videos. Like this is kind of where my longest videos ends up being, like, finished. But I have so much more to go. <laughs> I have, like, at least another, like, 15 minutes-ish to talk. So, 
Um, yeah, my voice might be dead at the end of this, but it's okay, right? Like, it's okay. We will be fine. Um, I'll figure out a way to survive. I think it will be fine. Um, again, like, I talk a lot during a day. Like, I talk with my friends all the time, like, my family. Like, I talk a lot and like, in games and stuff like that, but recording a voiceover is definitely very different because you talk to yourself. Like, you're the only person talking for maybe, like, an hour straight and it can be really weird for like your voice and stuff like that so i always have like some type of drink with me because sometimes my throat just gets really really dry which is also sometimes why i will um there will be like some weird cuts or stuff like that it's just because like i am in desperate need of water <laughs> um but yeah honestly props to people that like talk for a living like oh my god um it is it, it's a hard thing to do <laughs> let's be honest um but i love doing it like i I don't know why, but, like, I just, I love talking like this with you guys. It's really fun. Um, and also, personally, like, I would not ever post a video without a voiceover just because I prefer to watch videos myself with voiceovers, and I think that's kind of what you have come to expect from this channel, right? Like, you've come to expect, like, voiceovers, so here you are, um, even though they're sometimes very chaotic and sometimes it's not about the build at all. Today, I've tried to talk about the build a lot, and we'll soon be getting back into the build because we're going to do the final house but you know sometimes it's hard okay sometimes it's really hard um but yeah anyways again i hope you guys are good let me know what you guys been up to um i've again just been watching criminal minds and editing and playing val that is mostly what i've been doing and like building and stuff like that and, like talking to my friends and my boyfriend and you know whatnot but again i'm just trying to prepare for me being gone because when i'm gone i don't want to have to stress over videos and like oh i'm not posting or whatever like i just want to be able to you know have fun be where i am at at the time so yeah anyways moving on to the final house so for the final house I didn't show you the entryway or anything like that. So we kind of just jump straight into the kitchen, uh, which ends up being really small. Like it's a really small kitchen. It only has like a couple of counters. And again, it has a um, washer. You can't dry your clothes, <laughs> but there is a clothing line like outside. So you can still like dry your clothes, but there's no dryer in this house. Um, but I also think that's pretty, like, realistic. Um, and again, this is the house that I kind of wanted it to look a little bit more run down. I don't know if run down is the right word, but, like, a little bit more worn. So, for the kitchen, I used this tiling that we have. Like, we have a base game version, and then we also have one version that we got from the City Living expansion pack. And I used the one from the City Living one because it has this kind of, like, cracks and stuff like that in it. And so I think it would, again, just looks very realistic. And... I really liked using it because, again, it just shows some wear and tear, which is very common. Um, and this house, house <laughs> sorry, this house ends up having a kind of like a breakfast corner thing in the kitchen. And then there ends up being a dining room, but to the dining room, I didn't put a uh, like archway into it, which is really weird because I usually just put a, like archways everywhere to kind of just make it a lot more open and stuff like that, especially in a house like this small, I want it to be a little bit more open, um, or like seem like it is more open, but I ended up using a door that be, I think it's a base game door that has this kind of like glass paneling on it, which once again, for me is really realistic because I feel like a lot of rooms will have that sometimes, like they will have a door into there. And I feel like maybe normally that door is like always open, but Obviously, in the Sims is always going to be closed, but yeah, again, just a little bit more realistic for me. Um, and specifically using that like glass door because in my house, um, we have that like we have between our living room and our kitchen dining area, we have these like huge like glass doors, and I've seen a lot of other houses have that as well. So I thought it was kind of realistic. Um, I did struggle with this third and final house because I wasn't sure how to furnish the like living room, especially. I don't know why. I just kind of struggled with it, but in the end. It worked out fine um it was it, it it worked out fine i kind of i don't know kind of winged it a little bit <laughs> once again i wanted to use the love seat that we got from the uh, book nook kit but i couldn't because again i've already used it once so i was like what can i do so i think in the end i ended up using two armchairs and i do not remember if it's 
it's either two armchairs that we got from the cats and dogs expansion pack or the ones that I think I ended up going for and the ones I hope I ended up going for <laughs> are these kind of like recliners um, that we got from the, I want to say the basement treasures kit. I think so. There is another kind of similar version that we got from the werewolves pack, but I think those ones are from the, um, what's it called? The basement treasures one, but don't quote me on that. Um, by the way, all of the packs and kits and stuff like that will be listed down below. So if you're ever wondering like, oh, like did you use this kit or pack or whatever, it will be listed down below. Um, sometimes I use all of them and I'm so sorry, but like I try not to limit myself all the time because I do own all of it and I want to show how you can use everything. Um, again, I totally understand that it's not always realistic to like have all of the packs and stuff like that. So you will actually get, get a base game uh, build in the next couple of weeks, but let me know if you have any like packs you want me to do a like restricted pack build with, if that makes sense. Like if you want me to just use cats and dogs or like just use um, like, I don't know, an expansion pack and a game pack, like whatever, like let me know if you have any specific things you want to see from me. Um, because I would love to build some more like packed pack restrictive things for you guys because again I totally understand that you cannot have all the packs in this economy especially like it can be really expensive so yeah um and also whenever there is a new like pack or kit or whatever I always have a giveaway on my twitter for it so if you ever want a chance to win the new thing that's coming out you can go over my twitter and see um I usually mention it in the video as well during that time but just so you know, there's usually some kind of giveaway um, thanks to the Yay Creator Network, which I think is really, really nice of them to make all of us like the, because I'm part of the Yay Creator Network, so um, it's really nice for them to like make it so that we can give you guys some copies because, again, it can be really expensive and this way more people can have it and yeah. Um, and I also, I don't know if there's still a sale on things, but there are always, there are always, there we go. I don't know why I was struggling there, um, but there are almost always some type of sale going on um, on packs. So yeah, hopefully you guys um, don't mind too much that I used a lot of packs in this. And again, let me know if there's any like specific pack limited builds you want to see from me uh, because I would love to make some more because again, I haven't done any in like so long and mostly because I don't know what kind of packs people own now. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Um, so let me know if you want to see one with like maybe just horse, ra horse, horse, ranch or something like that. Um, sorry if you heard that. That was once again, my phone buzzing. I need to turn it off <laughs> when I'm recording. And there's also kind of like a helicopter or something going on, like on. Um, but I am so far into this voiceover and I'm not going to stop now. But anyways, uh, going back to the build that I'm currently working on again, we're still on the third and final house and, um, the kind of upstairs again there didn't end up being a bathroom downstairs so both of the bathrooms in this house ends up being on the um second floor there's one like master bath bathroom and then there's one that i thought maybe the kid and the teen shared um so i kind of tried to reflect that by the way in the bathroom decorations as well like in that bathroom i put some like the swatches of like the towels maybe are a little bit more like youthful or whatever um again you won't see me do those bathrooms because i only showed the one bathroom in the first house, but yeah. Um, and then the parents' bedroom ends up being very, very generic. It's like the most generic parents' bedroom ever. It's just matches the rest of the house. And then the kids' room has a little bit more of like a kind of like nature theme, kind of, not really, but it's kind of um, very like neutral, if that makes sense. Like it has some very like muted colors and it's kind of neutral and yeah, I really like it. Um, I also ended up putting, like, a drawing table in there. It's a very, very, like, I don't know, like, tiny room, like, small room, so, um, I wasn't sure how much I would be able to fit in there, but I was able to fit, like, a bed and a desk and, um, all of that, and a drawing table, so maybe that sim really likes to draw. I don't know. Also, once again, my voice is actively dying. My throat hurts so much, so I'm so sorry if my voice is, like, breaking every now and again or if I can't pronounce things it's just really it's see it's just really hard to talk right now that was me getting a discord message too I need to stop having things on <laughs> while I'm doing this um I will check that out in a couple minutes but anyways um the teens bedroom also 
is I know I say this every single time I make a teen's bedroom like this, but I love the teen's bedroom because it's a bedroom I would have. Um, again, I know I say that quite a lot, but it is literally a bedroom I would have and a bedroom I kind of already have. Um, I went for a little bit more of like a darker color scheme in there. Um, I used one of my favorite beds that we got from the um, high school year expansion pack that has this kind of like moon on it and has like a purple pillow which like if you know me that is literally the perfect bed i talked specifically like last week and the week before that because of the crystal creations stuff pack that we got out but um i love moons and tarot cards and stuff like that i don't really quote unquote believe in like crystals and zodiac signs and stuff like that but i in tarot cards but i love the aesthetic and tarot cards in general has to do a lot with my favorite book series of all time so it's kind of a reference to that as well um but again i just really like that and then purple is my favorite color like i'm obsessed with purple so once again that bed is like perfect and i love it so much and i want it irl <laughs> and it also has like kind of like woven kind of like wicker um i don't know if that's the right word but like the bed frame is just so cute i love it so much there's also a double bed version of it and i just i love it so much and I restrain myself from using it as much as I would want to <laughs> because I don't want to have like all my um like kids rooms and stuff like that or teens rooms to look the same so I try to limit it a little bit and like not use the same bed all the time but I, I love that bed so much but um and then I also end up putting like a kind of like gaming lap not a laptop like a gaming pc in there and a keyboard and it has some like music posters and stuff like that it is kind of genuinely my room um it's a little bit darker than my room but like I have a keyboard I don't ask me why because I cannot play the keyboard <laughs> so I don't know why I have it I just I've had it for years and I'm like one day I'm gonna learn I haven't yet um or I can play like a couple of songs but I'm not great at it but then again I have like tarot cards all over the place I have like tapestries I have music things all over the place like I have books or like it's basically just my room but in the sims and I love it so much um when I built this we didn't have the crystal creations um stuff pack but if we did I probably would have used a lot of things from that stuff pack in there as well because it just matches the entire aesthetic very well um but yeah I didn't when I when I made it and then I think by the way the wallpaper I end up going for in there is another one that we got from parenthood I'm pretty sure um unless I change it I'm one, not 100% sure but I think the one I had at least from the start is parenthood one that has these kind of like trees and it's black and white and I never ever use that wallpaper I am so sorry if that cut weirdly for some reason my editing software just stopped like it just froze and I, I, and I was so scared I was like is my pc dying like is it freezing because if so I just recorded an entire hour <laughs> oh sorry I just hit my keyboard but um I just recorded like an entire hour um and I've lost it but no <laughs> it is okay <laughs> I had a little bit of a mini heart attack there but it's okay um but yeah I never ever use that wallpaper that has these kind of like trees because it's a little bit too busy for my taste but I think it ends up working in there and I really do need to use that more but yeah I don't know I just again with this house I tried to just make it really really realistic and then in the backyard I think that ends up being again another swing set and maybe like a barbecue area i'm not 100 percent sure actually um this like third and final house is probably my least favorite from the exterior because i don't really know what to do like you will see that i changed the wallpaper for the exterior like thousands of times i did cut it out for you guys but like i changed it so many times <laughs> and in the end i ended up going um I think with one that we got from the um, uh, horse ranch expansion pack, but like I at one point had the base game one, I had another horse ranch one for a bit, I had, I don't know, I had like so many different ones because I could not figure out this third and final house because I was really, really happy with the first two um, and then I just didn't know and also like I edited this out but at first I tried to use the seasons windows but that just didn't work so I used the ones that we got from cats and dogs and it's just... It became a whole thing, but I think in the end it ends up looking pretty good, but I was really solid on the first two houses because I was like, oh yes, like this works, like this siding with these windows and like everything works. And then this third house, I struggled, but in the end I was able to get it there. Um, I think at least, like at least in my opinion, I was able to get it there. Um, I think, I don't know. 
you, you guys can be the judge of that. Um, anyways, I don't think there was anything else for this specific house. Again, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, but I would like for all of you to know that I just checked that Discord message that I got from my friend because I thought it might be like something important because he normally doesn't message me around this time. No, it was a picture of a snake because he hates me. <laughs> No, he doesn't. He loves torturing me with snakes because I have a pretty severe phobia of snakes. And him and like my boyfriend and some other friends will sometimes just randomly send me snakes because it's really funny to them. And I get that it's funny because it is kind of funny, but also I hate them for it. <laughs> and I, because I, I hate snakes so much. Um, I have warmed up a little bit to them. I feel like they're actually doing like some type of like exposure therapy on me because like I'm not as scared anymore. Like now I can see a picture of it and not want to throw up. But when they started this about like two years ago, um, I, it was not fun. I hate snakes so much. Like, oh, they're so disgusting. I'm like, ah, I, I just, I hate them so much. Um, I don't know. I just, again, I don't have many phobias or many things I'm scared of. Uh, but I, I think I've mentioned this before, but like it's snakes and boats in the ocean for me um i don't know actually i do know why <laughs> i don't like boats and why i don't like the ocean but like don't get me wrong i love looking at the ocean like i live like by the beach um or like pretty close to a beach and i go there all the time to just like look out on the ocean but i don't want to be there <laughs> i don't want to be in the ocean i don't want to be on a boat um either i hate boats so much um so those are like the main things i'm scared of i don't particularly like spiders either but i i can handle them um however if there is one near me i will be yelling at someone to go get it <laughs> usually my dad or my brother because they're like used to it because both me and my mom <laughs> does it all the time we're just like ah spider um or my cousin might actually come and help me because she she doesn't like spiders but she doesn't mind them as much as I do but they don't particularly scare me they just kind of disgust me um but yeah um what are you guys scared of um if you made it this far into the video let me know with in the comments uh with like what you're scared of because that's that's really funny um not funny it's not fun to be scared of things but like it will be fun to see if um, anyone actually made it this far. I don't know. Maybe you did. Maybe you didn't. I don't know. Um, either that or you can post a or like um, comment with an emoji of what should it be a sunflower. Comment with an emoji of a sunflower. And that way I have, I know that you have been here and I appreciate you so much for like watching this entire video because that's insane. Um, but I really hope you guys liked it because it's, it, I just, I really like all these three houses. Like I was so excited because you guys know that I have quite a few different videos on like my backlog and things I need to post and stuff like that. So me building a house and then posting it, like not directly after I build it, that's pretty rare, but like if I post it within like a month of me building it, I really do like it. And this was one of those because I built this like maybe like a month and a half ago. And again, it was supposed to go up a couple of weeks ago, but then I didn't want to bombard you guys with too many of this like three house and one lot thing. So Hopefully you guys have cooled down a little bit from those things, uh, which by the way, you should check those out. I think the ones that I saw at least were from uh, Jessica Pye again and Rachel Ped, two amazing creators, like go and check them out. But I think I saw those two posting, I think it was like even like the same day. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to calm down. I'm not going to post mine, um, but yeah, I already had mine done and I, I was like a actively editing it, but I was like, I'm going to chill on it and post some other things. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are fine with it. And I am actually working on like some other kind of residential rental lots because I keep forgetting those sort of things sometimes, but they are also kind of hard to build sometimes because again, they take so much time like this it takes so long because it's three houses you have to decorate and do the exterior for and stuff like that um i am surprised this build didn't end up being like longer than it actually is because i genuinely thought this was going to be like two hours and i would have to split it up into two videos but i feel like this is at least okay this is the longest video i have ever posted i'm pretty sure um but anyways that's basically it for this video and i really hope you liked it and don't forget to like share comment and of course subscribe and i'll see you all in the next one bye <laughs>